Hello everyone. After we learned price structure, here we explain some integrated problems on selling price. Here are the basic knowledge we learned before. Selling price is expressed as cost of buying and operating expenses and profit expected. It can also be expressed as cost of buying and markup. Here, markup is expenses and profit together. And we have two basic index to show the business situation. One is called the rate markup based on the cost. Markup divided by the cost. Another one is called the rate markup based on selling price. We use markup divided by regular selling price. When the regular selling price is cut down, we call the part being cut markdown. Use MD to represent markdown. And then we have sale price. So sale price comes from regular selling price minus markdown. And we have different ways to say markdown by using percentage. That is written markdown. Markdown divided by regular selling price. Example 1. Rocky Sports purchased the ski bindings for $57.75. That were marked up 45% of the regular selling price. The store's overhead expenses were 28% of the regular selling price. When the binding was discontinued, it was marked down 40%. What was the sale price of the binding? How much was the operating profit or loss as a result of the sale? We have the information from the question about the cost of buying, $57.75. Mark up 45% of the regular selling price. So M equals 0.45S. Expenses, 28% of the regular selling price. So E is 0.28S. Put them together in the relationship we have. C plus M come S. So C plus 0.45 S equals S. We put the information into the relationship we learned. We set up the equation about S. So when we move them around, try to isolate S, and we can solve S. Turn out S is 57.75 divided by 0 0.55 give us the answer. $105. With S being solved, and we can come out the sale price. We cut out 40% of the regular selling price, so we have 60% left over. Turn out 60% of the $105 is $63. That is sale price. Then we can come out expenses. 28% of the regular selling price give us $29.40. Then we can calculate profit. We use the sale price, $63, take out cost of buying, $57.75, and then take out operating expenses, $29.40, give us negative number, $24.15. So turn out for each ski bindings. We have $24.15 lost. Example 2. The Cheetah, a fast, sporty, and efficient new vehicle, has just been introduced by Canadian Motors. The local dealer, and Jetis, purchased one of the cars at a list price of $27,685 less 30%. And that is sets a marked price on all vehicles so that they can offer a regular advertised discount of 10% and maintain a markup of 45% of the cost. During its annual sale, instead of the annual discount, a different markdown was offered by advertising the car at $27,995. 
determine the cost, the regular selling price, the original marked price, and the sale markdown rate. We have lots of information in this question, but one new concept mentioned here is marked price. So we need to understand what marked price is about. So when the question sentences mark the price on all vehicles so that they can offer a regular advertised discount 10%, that means they have this price internal, something in their mind not being announced. So they set up this mark the price and then tell you the regular price as the discounted price. And they can announce regularly 10% discount. But that 10% discount, which is after marked price. So based on marked price, they offer you 10%. But marked price is higher than the regular price. So that's the marketing sales strategy. So the question gives us the information. Cost of buying. $27,685 less 30%. So here 30% is trade discount. So we actually pay the net price $19,379.50. That is the cost of buying C. And then we can turn out markup. Clearly said 45% of the cost of buying for markup. So we finish this calculation, come out to markup, $8,720.78. We have cost of buying, we have markup, we would come out regular selling price, put them together, $28,100.28. Now we need to figure out market price. With 10% in mind, that means they tell customer the regular selling price $28,100.28 as discounted price after 10%. So that means the 10% was based on market price. So in that case, here's the relationship. Market price take out 10% would give us the regular selling price. So we can come out mark the price in their man in internal the company was thirty one thousand two hundred twenty two dollar fifty three cents based on this mark the price and we can see during the sale how much markdown actually is we should all follow the same standard because the regular 10% discount being offered based on market price. Then we calculate the sale price. The markdown should be also based on market price. So give us the markdown, $3,227.53. In that case, we can figure out how much percent this markdown takes in the market price. Give us 10 0.34%. So the so-called special sale, instead of regularly offer 10% and only add a little tiny bit, 0.34%, little more. Understanding market price is the key in this question. Example 3. Big Sound Electronics purchase the equipment from the manufacturer at a cost of $960 less 30% 15%. According to Big Song's pricing strategy, all merchandise is marked at a price that allows an ongoing discount of 20% and maintains a profit of 15% of the regular selling price. Overhead is 25% of the regular selling price. During its annual boxing week sale, the usual discount of 20% was replaced by a markdown of 45% on selected models. 
what operating profit or loss was made during the Boxing Week sale. Let's look at the information we have. Cost of buying. Here again, $900 less, 30%, 15%. So we have series trade discount. So we need to use the net price. Here's actually being paid. That's cost of buying. $571.20. The question mentioned profit, 15% regular price. Operating expenses, 25% regular price. We can put them together in the basic relationship. Regular selling price come from cost of buying, plus expenses, plus profit. We have the equation here about regular selling price S. Solving this equation, we come out to the answer about the regular selling price, $952. Then again, Regularly being said, 20% offered, and the regular selling price being announced to the customer as the discounted price. In that case, internal price or marked price multiply 1 minus 0 0.2 would give us 952. That is so-called discounted price. So in that case, what is the marked price? Okay, marked price is 952 divided by 0 0.8 give us $1,190 that is the market price from here we have 45 percent marked down so we come out the sale price $654.50 and then we have profit based on the sale price take out the cost of buying take out operating expenses we have negative $154.70. So the Boxing Week sale, they won't make profit. They still lose money on each item being sold. Example 4. Magda's Furniture Emporium bought a dining room suite that must be regularly sold for $5,250 to cover the cost. Overhead expenses of 50% of the cost and a normal net profit of $25, 25% of the cost. 25% of the cost. The suite is marked at a price so that the store can allow a 20% discount and still receive the required regular selling price. When the suite remain unsold, the store owner decided to mark the suite down for an inventory clearance sale. To arrive at the rate markdown, the owner decided that the store's profit would have to be no less than 10% of the normal net profit. And that part of the markdown would be covered by reducing the commission paid to the salesperson. The normal commission, which accounts for 40% of the overhead, was reducing by one-third. One-third is also expressed as 33 and one-third percent. What is the maximum read markdown that can be advertised instead of the usual 20 percent? Seems like a long question, carry a lot of information, but we need to figure out step by step. Let's look at the information. Based on the relationship, regular selling price comes cost of buying plus expenses and uh, profit. We don't know the cost of buying yet, but we do have the regularly sold $5,250, that's the regular selling price. And we also have expenses, 50% of the cost, and the profit, 25% of the cost. In that case, we have this equation, and we can solve it, get the cost. Cost of buying, $3,000. And the normal net profit, 25% of the cost being, can be developed as well, $750. And the required net profit, 
when it is on the clearance sale. Ten percent of the normal profit, so it is seventy-five dollar being required for the clearance, and the expenses can also be developed fifteen hundred dollar expenses, and the commission being mentioned, normal commission forty percent of the overhead here is six hundred dollar. When we do clearance sale. Being reduced by one third, so from six hundred dollar we cut one third, would be four hundred dollar left over. In in that case, we continue. So the reduction in commission would be two hundred dollar, and the reduce the expenses would be from fifteen hundred dollar, take out two hundred dollar. We have thirteen hundred dollar left, and the clearance price still come out from cost of buying expenses and the profit, but they all new. Cost of buying same three thousand dollar, bought in the furniture suite, and the new expenses thirteen hundred dollar, and the new profit required seventy five dollar. Give us a clearance price four thousand. Three hundred seventy-five dollar. With this four thousand three hundred seventy-five dollar clearance sale price, and we need to figure out original internal price, which is the market price, from the regular selling price. We turn out market price six thousand five hundred sixty-two dollar fifty cents. So the markdown from market price. Would be the difference between market price and the sale price. Give us twenty one hundred eighty seven dollar fifty cents. Then we can come out the markdown read based on market price, which is exactly one third. In this case, instead of regularly telling customer twenty percent off for this seasonal clearance sale, they can say one third. Off to the customer. See you next time.